Good morning and welcome to St John's uh, at this Ascension Tide. 40 days after the day of resurrection, Jesus um, met with his disciples and was taken back up into heaven. And so this is the time when we celebrate Jesus' Ascension. And uh, so through our readings and our prayers, that's what we'll be focusing on today, um, the first Sunday after Ascension. And of course then next week comes the fulfilment of all of that with the celebration of the Festival of Pentecost. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. spend some time reflecting on this past week, this past few weeks, reflecting on the things that we would like to be different, the things that we have done or thought that are perhaps not worthy of us, not worthy of our relationship with God. And in the quiet we ask God to forgive us. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought and deed and word. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our collect for Ascension Tide. Let us pray that our risen and ascended Lord will lead us to eternal life. Risen Christ, you have raised our human nature to the throne of heaven. Help us to seek and to serve you, that we may join you at the Father's side where you reign with the Spirit in glory now and forever. Our reading for this Sunday comes from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, beginning at verse 4. While staying with them, he ordered his disciples not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptised with water, but you will be baptised by the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up and a cloud took them out of their sight. And while he was going, they were 
And while his, he was going, they were gazing up towards heaven. And suddenly two men in white clothing stood by him. And they said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will come in the same way as you saw him go. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! Seeing we have a great high priest who has passed through the heaven, Jesus the Son of God, we offer him the praise worthy of his name. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. Jesus High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. So we're thinking about Ascension Day and if you go to the website you'll see a full sermon that I've written talking about Ascension. For me it's about endings and beginnings and how we cope with endings and beginnings. I remember when I was a small boy on holiday I didn't seem to make friends with anybody to play with until the last day of our holidays. Whether we'd been away for a week or a fortnight, it didn't make any difference. It was on that last day that I seemed to strike up a friendship with someone who I believed would be my friend for life. And then, of course, saying we're going home tomorrow was always so painful. But my dad, who was very wise, always said, Andrew, we have to go home tomorrow because otherwise we can't go on holiday again. And that kind of sowed in my mind this idea that you know, endings are usually followed by beginnings. Never back to square one, of course, because that's how the cycle works, but back to a new beginning, a new start. And for the disciples that day, when they were taken back to Bethany by Jesus, that was what they discovered too, an ending. And you would expect that they would be heartbroken at saying goodbye to their friend, the one they had seen die in such a dreadful way, and then the joy that they welcomed him back as their risen Lord, and now he was leaving them all over again. And you would imagine that, he was, that they were feeling very sad about that. But as we read our scriptures, particularly the accounts by Luke, both in his Gospel and in the Acts of the Apostles, we read that they went back to Jerusalem filled with great joy because they knew that following this ending was coming a new, exciting beginning, which is what we celebrate next Sunday with the coming of the Holy Spirit and that explosion that gave birth to, to the church throughout the world. And so I guess our challenge as well is to prepare ourselves. Today we begin a, a season of prayer launched by the archbishops as we think about praying over this next week, preparing ourselves for, for Pentecost. And there are, again, resources on our website to help us pray, Thy Kingdom Come, as we prepare ourselves to, to be ready for that gift of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost next Sunday. Endings and beginnings are always important. And I guess every time we face an ending, whatever sort it is, we have to look again for signs of new beginnings. It's very difficult at the moment during this lockdown period, this global pandemic, to think about exciting beginnings. And it's hard even at times to see an ending. And that's all the more important for us to pray and to remember that we are held by God in his hand and that whatever happens, he cares for us more than anything else. And it's our job to just look for signs of his activity in the world and to realise that he hasn't given up with us yet. So that hope remains 
as well, that hope for clear endings and new beginnings. So let's say our prayers together as we think about this Ascension Tide. Let's pray. Jesus Christ, our great High Priest, living for ever to intercede for us, pray for the Church, your broken body in the world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, King of Righteousness, enthroned at the right hand of Majesty on high, pray for the world and make it subject to your gentle rule. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, Son of Man, drawing humanity into the life of God, pray for your brothers and sisters in need, distress or sorrow. We remember and name before you in our hearts those who we know are finding life so difficult at the moment. People who are poorly, people who are feeling alone and forgotten, people who are grieving the death of loved ones, people who are far away from their families. living Lord Jesus, we hold them up to you. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, pioneer of our salvation, bringing us to glory through your death and resurrection, Surround with your saints and angels those who have died trusting in your promises. And again in our hearts we name before you those who we know who have died over these last few weeks and months. Those thousands unnamed, just statistics as a result of the pandemic but also perhaps those known personally to us. We thank you for their life, for their work and their witness, for the memories of love that they leave behind. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, Lord over all things, ascended far above the heavens and filling the universe. Pray for us who receive the gifts you give us for the work in your service. We pray for this church and parish, for all who have any kind of affiliation with this church. We pray that through the spirit of community, we might be joined together. And we look forward to a time when we can again worship in your name in this place. But for the time being, we rejoice that you have given birth to places of worship throughout this whole village. As people gather at home, around their telephone, around their computer or their mobile phone, to worship you and to witness to your power and action. We pray for this village, thanking you for all those who have been motivated and inspired to care and help for others. And we pray that during this time we might learn what kindness means and continue that forward. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, keep the church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace, and bring the whole created order to worship at your feet, 
for you are alive and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And together as members of his whole worldwide family, we join in the prayer that Jesus first taught his disciples to say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. If you love me, rejoice, because I am going to the Father. Alleluia. Perhaps more than at any time before, we need to know something of that peace of God. So the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. And so please bow your heads and let me bless you. Christ, give you grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourself, to take up your cross and follow him, to rejoice in his risen and ascended nature, and to know that he is king of the world. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. Have a good week.